Hello, we are discussing about GATE 2015 ECE paper. Look at the signal flow graph shown. Find the value of C of S by R of S. C of S by R of S is output by input in Laplace domain, that is S domain. This is also called as transfer function. Transfer function can be obtained from a signal flow graph using Masson's gain formula. Okay, so first we will see Masson's gain formula and then we will come back and we will get the answer. So there are four options and what is the right answer that we will see. Okay. So Masson's gain formula is given like this. G is equal to Y out by Y in. G is nothing but transfer function. Y out is output node. Y in is input node. Okay. Output node by input node in S domain is given as G which is transfer function and it has given as sigma K is equal to 1 to N G K multiplying with delta K okay. divided by delta. Delta is determinant of the graph. The determinant of graph can be obtained by using this one. 1 minus sigma Li. Li means loop gain of each closed loop. In that signal flow graph, how many number of independent loops are there? How many number of loops are there? All those loops. Okay, we have to find out the loop gain and those loop gains are going to be get summed up. That is what sigma Li means. And next plus sigma li lj li lj is product of two non touching loops loop gain that is loop gain of loop gain of two non touching loops so like that if you are getting how many number of non touching loops you are getting that many numbers you have to take the product of those loops and they must be get added and you have to substitute over here similarly for three non touching loops Again, you are going to get the product of such type of loops and they will be gets added, they will be substituted in this one. And plus for the even numbers and minus for the odd numbers. Okay, this can be continued. And next. Now, delta k. Delta k is going to be same as delta. Okay, but k means kth forward path. Delta k means delta related to kth forward path. So, while calculating delta k, we will use the same procedure, but we will ignore, okay, we will ignore the loops which are connected to that kth forward path. We don't consider the loops which are connected to that kth forward path and we will consider which are not connected to that path. Those loops only we will consider. In that one, we will go for the individual loops and we will go for the two non-touching loops and we will go for the three non-touching loops in that way, okay. We will calculate the loop gain of them and we will substitute in this equation but remember delta k means delta k means you are going for the same procedure as delta but ignoring the loops closed loops connected to that forward path okay. and gk gk means kth forward path gain gain of kth forward path okay gain of kth forward path kth forward path k is equal to 1 to n so if you are signal flow graph is going to be consisting of n forward paths then this is a formula n can be anything if your signal flow graph is consisting of only one fa one forward path then simply it will be g1 if it is having two forward paths g1 g2 you will get okay so g1 means gain of first forward path g2 means gain of second forward path like this how many number of forward paths you may have for that one you are going to calculate the gain Okay, that is from input to output, the product of gains you are calculating, that is GK. So, we will use this formula to calculate. Okay, now I think you have understood each and every point of this one. So, now we will look at the diagram. This is the diagram given and this is Masson's gain formula which we are going to obtain. So, G is equal to, first we will find out, okay. C of S by R of S is equal to how many number of forward paths are there from R of S to C of S. R of S is from this point and look at the arrows. Okay, the arrow is going in this direction only. So, only one forward path is going to be existing. That is a straight line which is starting from C of R of S and ending at C of S. And all others are having opposite arrows so they don't be a forward path. So, only one forward path is there. So, it will be simply k is equal to 1. So, you will have only g1 
and delta corresponding to that forward path that's all okay if you have two forward paths then g1 delta 1 plus g2 delta 2 you will get like that but here you have only one forward path so i am writing it as g1 delta 1 divided by delta okay so first we will calculate delta to calculate delta we require okay how many number of loops are there independent loops two non touching loops three non touching loops so first we will go for the loops first so this is so this is first loop which is starting from x1 traveling to x3 again it is coming back to x1 and second loop starting from x4 and going through c of s and again coming back to x4 and third loop it is starting from x5 going to x2 and coming back to x5 so these are the three loops we have so whenever you have three loops one minus sigma of all the loops okay individual loop gains l1 plus l2 plus l3 these are the loop gains plus two non touching loop gains is there any non touching loops there are three loops one and three they have touched touching is nothing but they are going with a common node so x2 is common for loop 1 as well as loop 3 so they are not non touched they have touched there is nothing but they have a common node and if you observe 2 and 3 again it is having a common node of x y so they are not non touching if you observe 1 and 2 1 and 2 doesn't share any node in common so 1 and 2 are going to be non touching loops so 1 loop 1 and loop 2 are non touching loops non touching loops so we require the product of loop gain of those two non touching loops that we can write it as l1 l2 and there are no three non touching loops so we don't write minus l1 l2 l3 like this since there are no three non touching loops simply you can stop over here and you are putting it as zero okay you can stop by l1 l2 itself minus zero means there are no three non touching loops are existing in the given signal flow graph now we need to calculate 1 minus l1 l2 l3 so where l1 is equal to l1 is loop gain of loop 1 so g1 g2 minus g1 g2 h1 and l2 is equal to g3 g4 h2 minus g3 g4 h2 l3 third loop so g2 g3 this is 1 g2 into 1 into g3 that is g2 g3 into x3 h3 sorry so this is g2 g3 and h3 and product of two non touching loops which are l1 l2 so this is l1 l2 multiply this one so this will be g1 g2 g3 g4 h1 h2 all g's on one side all h on other side i am writing so this is product now you can get the delta value delta value means 1 minus of minus means it will become plus okay so delta will be equal to 1 plus g1 g2 h1 plus g3 g4 h2 plus g2 g3 h3 plus g1 g2 this is l1 l2 so l1 l2 l3 is completed next we are going with plus l1 l2 so this is g2 g3 g4 h1 h2 this is what delta value okay and next g1 delta 1 g1 means okay? g1 means first forward path that is gain of first forward path only one forward path that is starting from rf to r of s to c of s so 1 into g1 into g2 into 1 into g3 into g4 so this is g1 g2 g3 g4 and next we need to calculate delta 1 delta 1 you are going to calculate similar to the same delta formula but we don't consider the loops which are connected to this okay forward path so the loop l1 is connected to forward path loop l2 is also connected to forward path loop l3 is also connected to forward path connecting to forward path means they are sharing the common node okay so forward path as well as loop if they share the common node then they are non touched so you should not consider them here uh, you should consider now if you are observing 
x2 is uh, these three nodes are going to be common for loop 1 these three nodes are common for loop 2 and these are the nodes common for loop 3 so all the three loops which are present in this one are connected to this so there are no other loops present to consider for delta 1 so simply it is 1 minus 0 so delta 1 is equal to 1 and g1 is equal to g1 g2 g3 g4 so if you substitute in this equation okay this is what the equation for us so g1 means g1 g2 g3 g4 into 1 is same divided by so g1 g2 g3 g4 you are getting a and b out of that one so look at the delta value delta is 1 plus g1 g2 h1 1 plus g1 g2 h1 so this will be the right answer so right answer is option b Thank you.